Hey guys, um, here I have uh, the Osprey Talon 11 pack and um, this is a, a really great day pack and um, this is one of those packs that you carry on a uh, maybe a shorter day hike something where you're not going into super remote places or places that uh, you maybe would need a larger pack with more capabilities uh, this is a, a much lighter weight uh, um, you know kind of minimalist pack and um, you know I, I really like it and uh, I, I've carried it uh, a lot and it's been a, a really excellent pack now uh, a quick uh, tour of the features on this pack on the front here it has uh, this kind of webbing or not webbing but a uh, elastic cord with a, a cord lock here and also a, uh, a clasp and uh, that's really nice for maybe kind of windbreakers uh, you know, carrying things like that. It's probably not going to be big enough for maybe like a rock climbing helmet or something like that. But uh, I, I put my windbreaker in there. Um, and uh, the other thing is that this is definitely what I envision as kind of a, maybe a three season pack. Uh, you know, spring, summer, fall. Um, it's not going to be a winter pack just because winter you generally have bulkier clothing, uh, more equipment. Um, so this is definitely a, 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 a more um, nice weather pack. <laughs> And uh, but it, it does that job very well. Um, so you know, works perfect for you know any extra clothing or something that you just want to strap out there. Then on the front here, you have a uh, front pocket um, mesh in the back here, um, looking into the main compartment. A little uh, 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 lock right there, or uh, I don't know what you call it. You can you know put keys or a whistle or whatever you want on there. And so just main little compartment for little whatever you need. And um, the other thing is that throughout this pack, all the zipper pulls are this really nice uh, ring design. And I really like that. It makes it super easy. Just, you know, put your finger in there and pull. Um, you know, even if you're wearing gloves, um, you know, whatever. Um, really easy to just grab in there. And one thing that I didn't realize about this pack uh, before I got my hands on it in person is I thought that these this gray part was kind of maybe almost like uh, sticky or rubberized. It's actually not. It's more of a uh, it's more of a slicker, more plasticky material, uh, but it's still uh, flexible. Um, it's still really nice. I love it. Now uh, here you have your main compartment in there, and uh, uh, you know decent size. Uh, this this is the. Uh, um, where I'll find it. This is the small to medium size pack. Uh, there's also a, a medium large size. Uh, this, even though it says the Talon 11, this one actually holds 9 liters. Uh, the medium large holds 11 liters. Um, so, you know, that's something that I also didn't realize until I, uh, I bought it. So, 9 liters of storage in there. Um, you know, that, that's enough for lighter activities. And this pack's all uh, compact enough that you could actually mountain bike or a rock climb or something like that with this. So a really nice pack and it's kind of maybe a hydration pack uh, with some extra storage. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. So the, in the back here uh, you do have a little um, pocket here with a, a velcro uh, closure. So that's nice. It, good strong high quality velcro. And I really don't mind velcro on that part because it's inside the pack. It's not like it's gonna get debris or anything on it, or at least it shouldn't. And uh, uh, good flaps come over all your zippers, high quality zippers. Really very high quality materials and craftsmanship throughout this pack. Uh, what you would expect from Osprey. Osprey generally makes some really nice stuff. In the back here you have your hydration uh, compartment right here. Uh, you undo these two clasps and then you can get in, in there and put your hydration pouch in there. Um, and as far as I know, this will accept, you know, just about any hydration pouch you want to put in there. It has this, uh, this small little clasp right there uh, to attach it so it doesn't, you know, sink down in the bottom. It also has this, this snap right there. And uh, it, it, you can get to the uh, back compartment through here uh, with this zipper right there, that black line right there. However, you know, it's not just going to be like a super easy thing to get in there. I mean, it'd take a little, you know, you'd have to get in there for a reason, you know, to want to go through the hassle of getting in there. But you can do it, which is good. 
And the other thing is that if you do put a hydration pouch in here, which I definitely recommend if you get this pack, uh, you can run your, your hose out of it either way, left or right side. You know, you just run it under here and out, um, which is really nice. Um, you know, it has some good uh, elastic uh, spots right here uh, that you could run it down, the hose down through there. And, uh, you know, if you buy it from them, uh, their hydration pouch, which um, is a good hydration pouch. I don't have a ton of experience with a lot of different ones, but I can speak for theirs, and I, I, I have it, and I'll do a separate review on it. It is good. Um, and it comes with this little uh, uh, magnetic uh, uh, thing that goes on here, so you can uh, hook your mouthpiece on right there. So uh, a good overall system if you want a, a hydration pouch. Uh, you know, ca compatible uh, backpack. Here is your sternum strap. Uh, good, high quality. Um, you know, a little elastic right there. And uh, a, 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 a traditional, you know, clasp. It also has a, a whistle on there, right there, built in. So that's really nice. Um, you know, kind of clever. And, uh, you know, if you're going to put it on there, why not? Um, and uh, I'll give you a short blow here, just... If, you know, if you're curious. So, definitely loud. It gives, get somebody's attention. And uh, what I was going to say is that it, it is adjustable th to these three positions. Uh, you, you take this part out, you feed it through, and it can go there. Not super quick, but it's easy enough. And, uh, you know, it's not one of those things that you're going to be adjusting all the time. Now, uh, you do have these two kind of elastic uh, pouches right here. Um, so that you could put, you know, cell phone, camera, whatever you want in here. And uh, so those are nice. And uh, this, these straps are made out of a mesh with kind of a, a light foam in there. Uh, very lightweight, but yet they seem durable enough. It, I, I was never, I never felt like this was going to, uh, you know, fall apart on me or anything like that. Uh, but they breathe really well and are very lightweight. And they, uh, you know, they're not overly thick. Uh, they don't feel like you have marshmallows on your shoulder or anything like that, but yet they take the weight well. Now, uh, down here on the waist belt, um, you have your clasp there. Uh, you have these, you have pockets on both of your waist belts, which is, you know, kind of common sense to me. Uh, why wouldn't you put pockets on your waist belt? Um, so great, fully enclosed, no mesh on there, except for the back side, which is actually, I like that. It's kind of t it's two layers of kind of uh, a really good quality, um, almost athletic mesh or something. As you can kind of see there, um, so so good, and one of those pockets on uh, both sides of this pack. Now um, you do have some drainage holes on the bottom there, in case you did get this in in you know a lot of water or something like that. And throughout this pack, um, on the ends of all your straps, you have uh, one of these little things. Uh, so that you can attach it on there and um, you know lock it in so you don't have a bunch of straps you know, you know flailing around now on the uh, on the left side of the pack you have this tie down right here a cord lock tie down on the side so that you could put trekking poles uh, down in this side and then elastic them through here uh, you know re you, I guess you could really put anything in there that you wanted to and uh, that came in handy I did use that and that was nice now um, this whole pack is made out of of uh, a, uh, a ripstop nylon. You can see there that I hope you can see that kind of checkered pattern. Um, that's that's really uh, really high quality. Uh, feels very nice. It, it is slick and kind of waterproof. However, I don't know how well it would stand up over you know an intense rain. Uh, you'd probably want to put some kind of covering over it. Now these pockets on the sides are what they call. Um, um, uh, stretch woven uh, nylon and I almost wish that they had just done a mesh here uh, you know kind of a, an elastic on the top with mesh um, but these are fine and I'll show you here's a Nalgene bottle just a standard size Nalgene bottle um, 32 ounces and um, there, it's a little difficult to get this in these in these side pockets they're a little small and I would have preferred them to just be a little bit bigger um, you can do it it does go in there, but as you can see, it's it's a little tight. It's not going to come out, um, you know, without you wanting it to. 
but it's a little bit it's going to be a little bit hard to just go reach back there grab it and pull it out um, and then you know put it back when you're done so you can carry it but it's not super it's not ideal um, you have a little tow loop here and you have these two slots uh, if you wanted to put a reflector on it and the other thing is that these talons on the back um, these are a reflective material and uh, so is this name and uh, some other stuff on this back so it is uh, you know somewhat reflective if you're going if you're out at night or anything like that and uh, you know, obviously your uh, handle on here is uh, good quality so overall a great pack now it does come in several colors uh, you can go to Osprey's website if you want to see the colors comes in more of kind of a navy dark blue comes in this orange and it comes in a uh, bright yellow now uh, generally I would probably prefer the blue just because it's the most kind of low-key color uh, however I just I really loved this orange color it kinda had the cool factor for me and um, I, I don't know it, it just I really loved it and also I, I bought this at a local store uh, just because I you know I like supporting local businesses when I could when I can and uh, they had it in stock I paid a little bit more for it there than I would have online um, but you know I got to take it home that day and uh, they only had orange and uh, that's the color I, I kinda liked anyway so that's what I got um, but you know it's really your choice now uh, they these packs um, weigh uh, one pound five ounces so that's pretty lightweight um, you know, and I can tell you right now it really distributes the weight over your body very well you know it's it's kind of a somewhat rigid back on here it's it's what they call their their uh, airscape back it kinda has this mesh with these ridges and I, I haven't ha found any durability issues with that mesh and uh, they, they say it's gonna prevent uh, sweaty back syndrome uh, I think they're um, uh, uh, stretching that a little. It does help with su sweaty back syndrome, but my back still sweated. <laughs> so, you know, it's helpful, but it's not gonna, just going to completely stop it. Um, but, you know, anyway, it, very lightweight pack. Um, and, and so that adds some rigidity to the pack. And uh, so it really, you know, distributes the weight very, very well. Now these packs generally are going for around 90 bucks, so that's uh, somewhat elevated. Now I'm, I'm not saying that it's that it's uh, crazy overpriced, but um, you know that this does not include a uh, a bladder for it. If you want to buy Osprey's bladder, that's about 30 bucks. So you're looking at around 120 bucks for this plus the bladder. Uh, where if you you know you look at a Camelback or a North Face pack, you can generally get those uh, with the bladder for around I don't know 50 to 70 bucks uh, so this is definitely a little bit more expensive option uh, but you know if you have the money and you want to put out the money for this pack um, you know you won't be sorry it's a, it's a definitely a very good pack and um, I don't know it, it has the cool factor for me it's really awesome and not to mention Osprey uh, definitely stands behind their products a great uh, US company um, so um, there it is. Um, I think that's all I got for you today. Uh, watch out for uh, the uh, review on the uh, bladder. Um, and I'll uh, put that review in uh, that corner over there when it's out. Uh, sorry, you guys, for the length, but uh, a lot to cover and I want to be thorough. So, uh, see you guys.